what do you think your brother's reasoning is to be doing this to the Canadian people and, and tarnishing our cultural ways and, and who we are as Canadians? What is the drive that is, is, a lot, is, is his reasoning for all of this? What do you, what do you right. think? Right. Well, I mean, I, I don't, I, I'm going to start by saying like Justin is, you know, the leader of the liberal party and everything that's coming out of his right now, out of his mouth right now is written. All of his tweets are being produced by a team. All of his statements, he is he is the face and like, you know, the 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 lead spokesperson for the Canadian government, but the policy and the initiatives that are driving it and that are driving his, uh, like, you know, the, this narrative that he continues to push, which in my opinion is decidedly anti-Canadian and anti-freedom is like coming down from, you know, the higher ups from, you know, groups like, like, like the world economic forum, like the council on foreign relation, like Bilderberg, um, et cetera. Then and they they recognize you know we need to have these strong kind of agents within within uh, governments and I think one of the things we've seen is all around the world we have you know I'll be frank weak leaders um, uh, you know who who are able to like act as kind of spokespeople and he is not speaking from his heart I don't honestly believe like you know there is not candid there's no discussion this is why he's afraid to or like you know this is why he's not being allowed to actually engage with with the freedom convoy and with these people because there's a lot to unpack here and there's a lot of serious questions and you know the truth is easily debated but lies like can't be debated. So it's like, you don't even enter the debate when you were dealing with lies. 